If you guys want to see how I went from brunette to blonde at home, keep on watching. Okay, so we are on our way to Target um, to get the things to get her done. But I'm going to go to Target because instead of Sally's. Because I want to find things that everyone has access to in case that you guys want to do something. It's all in the boxes, usually on the drugstore ones. It shows you um, how it's going to end up looking like. So I will um, update you since I get home. Okay, so we are back from Target and this is going to be a two-step process, kind of like imitating what I will get in the salon. So a bleaching um, part and then the second step will be kind of like toning. Um, I would suggest doing toning with a semi-permanent uh, color, not a real color, uh, but just to correct the 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 tone into the deposit a little bit of color back into your hair uh, just to keep it healthier uh, that's what works for me at least and so I got this L'Oreal uh, balayage um, kit am I gonna use everything I don't know I might just use the bleach but that's what I got because um, um, I like it's everything prepared. I'm not a hairstylist, so it's kind of like the consistency that you might need. And um, it has the brush, and it's just easier because it comes everything in a box and it's the box instead of uh, a balayage that is a hundred dollars. But and then I got this uh, dark ash blonde. Because what I was saying in the back of the of the uh, hair dye, it shows kind of how it was like your hair might look like and how it would end, how it would turn out, and I have a feeling that it's going to turn out orange because I dyed my hair dark not that long ago, and I know that um, hair dye that the dark brown hair has a lot of uh, red and orange tones. If it was in my natural hair color, I feel like it will pull decently uh, because I've done it before. But because I know that I have hair dye in my hair, I'm gonna go with uh, with this to, to kind of tone down those orange tones. And then I got more of like a medium uh, blonde for the ends, more of a, um, Mm, neutral natural to golden tones because I like golden tones better um, um well I, I just prefer that I have a uh, neutral skin tone so I can use both I can go either way but I like personally more golden tones not brassy but golden tones So it has numbers on it. So this is number two. The developer is number one. So it says to open this up and put part two in here. I'm trying to not waste anything. Number three. And it usually has this little thing where you push it in because it's like closed. And that's it. And then. So basically what I did was to apply the bleach on the ends of my hair. What I usually do is section my hair and work with smaller pieces. But this time I knew that I wanted all my ends to be lighter. And the reason behind this is because I don't like the haircut that I have. The last lady that cut my hair messed it up. And because lighter colors make things appear larger, I wanted to make the ends, all, of, all the ends of my hair lighter. So it will look uh, bigger and more with more volume because she layered my hair too much. 
but after I applied uh, the bleach on the ends, I went ahead and tried to bring up uh, some highlights. Looking back at this, it looks very messy. But the way that I place my highlights is just by picking where I want them to be. Looking at myself in the mirror and seeing where I would like the highlights to be. Just as if I was painting something. Um, the only technique or tip that I will have about this is to make more highlights towards your face and not as many in the back of your head and also to bring up the highlight higher closer to your roots uh, when it's close to your face to frame um, your face and not as as high when it is in the back of your head i noticed that my hair was lifting very fast you see, it's lifting very fast. So I decided five to only minutes. leave it for five more minutes because I was going for a caramel honey color, not really blonde, and I wanted to minimize the damage in leave my hair. Like this for now, and then come back tomorrow and see if I should uh, tone it and why not? I'm gonna put a lot of hair oil on my ends, which is where I bleached it because it definitely needs a little more uh, moisture and some uh, leave in conditioner. And um, I will see where we add tomorrow and what is that I should do. Oh. After thinking what I'm gonna do, I think I'm going to use a dark ash blonde, which is kind of like a light brown, honestly. That's what one hairstylist told me once um, to tone everything down because I don't want it to be that blonde. And maybe I use the blonde hair dye to highlight. Um, Kind of like a reverse balayage situation I'm going to try to do. What I ended up doing was using the dark ash blonde to tone down the orangey pieces of my hair. So more in the middle section. And then I used the medium blonde on the ends and wherever I wanted the highlights to be. Then I just left that process for 30 minutes and then I shower and that was all. This is how my hair turned out. It is a lot blonder than I expected, but I honestly love it. I literally got a compliment as soon as I left my house at Ulta. If you guys want to try this at home, aftercare is huge. So I will highly suggest getting a really good hair mask. If you guys want to know what products I'm using, just comment down below or if you have any other questions. And I see you next time.